Welcome to another segment of Women Lead TV brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. We're so glad you're here. I'm Cynthia Trevino. I'm your host for WOW Women Show. And today our topic is, do women help each other in the entrepreneurial space? Um, that is, do women entrepreneurs do enough to collaborate, to partner? And we're going to dive into that today. Our leading lady today is Kathy David. She's the CEO and founder of IT Tech Pros. Thanks for being here, Kathy. Thank you for having me. This is really exciting, and I think this is a conversation that needs to happen and help us encourage other women who are entrepreneurs be better in what they do and build their businesses. And exactly, by, by collaborating more and helping right. each other more, exactly. So um, I, I got onto this topic about do women entrepreneurs, do women business owners help each other enough based upon a, a lot of reading I've been doing about the disparity in earnings between men and women entrepreneurs doing the exact same sort of work. And it, it's really a wide gap. It makes the gap in corporate earnings between men and women look like a walk in the park, as, as I say a lot. That's and so, um, to me, more women should help each other because there's more and more women entrepreneurs. Of course, women are opening businesses of their own at a rates unheard of right in history since um, uh, in the past five or six years, it's just skyrocketed, right? right? Which is great. And, and women of diversity, uh, which is all, it's all wonderful. So I believe that women business owners should help each other more. Right. So that, that's what I want to explore today. So. Um, there was a, uh, a, an article and a woman found that women entrepreneurs and women in business are, are much more relational with the other women, right? right? Versus transactional, meaning transactional meaning like men who have their own businesses, they just go to each other and they say, hi, I need a client or can you give me an introduction? And men are fine with it. But women, on the other hand, when it gets transactional, if a woman says, if I come to say, Kathy, I need a new client, can you help me get into XYZ company? You know, too many women would say, oh my gosh, that hurts my feelings. I thought we were friends. friends <laughs> right. right. So what do you think about that? What's been your experience in that? Right, I think uh, you're right. Women, we are more relational as it relates to doing business because relationships and friendships are very important to us. Yes. Uh, one of the things that I have overcome because of, of that very same um, hurdle or obstacle in possibly hurting the business or hurting the relationship, and this is how, how my approach and how I've been successful, is giving more value to the other person. So for example, you and me in a setting where we just meet right and right. you're you, we're in a networking environment and I'm getting to know you um, how I've learned is basically asking you first how can I help you how, how can I be of service to you and not necessarily giving throwing you my agenda exactly basically I you know yeah. not me wanting to say hey Cynthia introduce me to Michelle over here in this organization because right. I want to get this business I want to build my relationship with you I want to be of value to you and so my approach has been Cynthia I want to get to know who you are I want to know your business and let me tell you tell me how I can help you grow your business <laughs> I like that I love that and I, I just have a little funny story I was at a networking event a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and there was a woman it was a women's networking event it was 60 women in the room it was great mm -hmm. and this woman came up to me and she introduced herself and she said what she did and she said here's my card and I said oh thank you and 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 I and she gave me two cards and I said oh excuse me you gave me two cards right. And she said to me, she said, oh no, I did that on purpose. That way you could give it to somebody who needs X, Y, Z, the service right. she did. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I have to tell you, I was taken aback. It was like, really? I literally met her for five seconds. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, when it comes to asking, right? I mean, women should ask each other for help, but mm -hmm. I just, that, that kind of, it, it was a turn off for me. Well, I think <laughs> also we're not trained. Right, right. Right out the gate, we're not trained on how to behave in a business environment. And this is actually a violation that both men and women make in a networking environment. Yes. They want to get married with you like right away. Exactly. And it's like, dude, you got to court me first. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Or or yeah. lady, you got to court me first. You can't, you know, ask me to go in bed with you like right now 
it it needs to be built and nurtured and yes you're right men are more transactional but in a different way right. so we also need to identify with you know my strength as a business owner and entrepreneur and it, it is more about building those relationships because what I do I don't sell cups I don't sell widgets I sell you know hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of contracts to my small business customers and that requires time and relationship building right, in order right. for me to build trust so it is that it's being open and helping you first how can i serve you first and that just will naturally open that reciprocal that law of reciprocity i i agree with you mm -hmm. completely mm -hmm. i totally agree then on the other hand mm -hmm. um i think what what when i first became um self-employed i was so not ready and totally unprepared and <laughs> you know i got who, who is ready yeah who's ready i was just it was it it was it had never been on my radar screen but 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 I always did believe in serving first and asking and 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 I would go to some events and and everybody would just talk like a a monologue about who they are and what they do and and I and and I could never get a word in edgewise so I think women have to kind of you know there should be you're right there's rest, there's give and take yes, when you're first meeting someone but on the other hand um, I think um, and and maybe it's like do we as women in business whether it's our own business or specifically for our own businesses. Do we know how to make a good ask? Mm. Again, we're not all trained to do it. Right. I think most women get out into, you know, from wherever they're at, their background and start a business because of their passion. Yes. But not necessarily be trained in, like I said, how to engage with others in business and really don't have that formal sales training so the confidence level is down so when your confidence level is down there's a lot of fear in asking yes so I believe and I've been fortunate enough I do have a corporate background that I was trained over the course of nine and a half years that I was there in, in selling so for me I was I'm very comfortable in that because of the training but a lot of women who get into business don't get that formal sales training right You're basically just going out there and you know figuring it out on your own and again there's a lot of fear so the confidence level is down so i highly recommend for women entrepreneurs to get some type of formal for, formal sales training or that structure and understanding the cycle understanding the cycle of an opportunity how to engage how to because there are certain steps to follow, but once you have that education and sales training, then the confidence level goes up. And so the fear then goes away of maybe hurting someone's feeling because you're too forward right, right out right, the gate. Right. And Cynthia, please marry me. Let's go have this right, relationship. Right, it doesn't right. work. Sign right. my contract. Right, right. <laughs> there you go. Wouldn't that be great? We would all be, you know, um, super successful people if we right. could just say, hey, you know, just yeah, just sign right here. Out the gate, exactly. So, for for women, I believe that we do need to get educated and have the sales training in order to help us become successful, especially in a business relationship. I, I you know, that's really, I hadn't thought about, I, I think that's great because I teach uh, women marketing and um, I work with women who just say, oh God, I'd rather do anything else than market myself. They uncomfortable tooting their own horn. They don't want to brag. And so, um, what I, I suggest when you're doing your elevator pitch or your self introduction at a networking event is to talk about who you help. Like, right. you know, like I say, um, I'm Cynthia Trevino and I work with women entrepreneurs who um, urgently want more of their ideal clients and I help them buy and I, you know, I sort of go into my spiel. But I start with who I serve. And a lot of times when I when I go to networking events, so often I'll meet women and the, and I'll say, what do you do? And they'll say to me, well, I'm a, I'm going to pick just for a moment yeah. on accountants, which really is, I'm a CPA and we do tax. Da, da, it's like a fast food menu, right? right? Have you mm -hmm. heard that? Yes. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so, I mean, elevator pitches, are, it, it, but it's an art. And, mm -hmm. and like you say, if it's steeped in sales, because it's relationship building, mm -hmm. right? Right. Because it, it, we hear a lot, nobody cares what you know until they know that you care, right? Exactly. It is that. And one of the things that I know that's been successful for me when I go into a networking situation, 
I don't, I actually don't talk and pitch about my business. Right, right. And I know this is probably opposite of what a lot of people are taught, you know, to do in business, but it's really having that listening ear yes. and knowing when to pitch your company at the right time. Yes. We are taught like you got to have your 30 or 60 second elevator pitch. Yes. And yes, that's useful for certain settings and situations. Yes. But when it's in a casual environment, that can turn people off and you can kill the sale before a sale opportunity right. can even present itself. Because you, you don't get to know each other because there has to be a relationship, right? Exactly. There's always the, you know, I, I know we, we do this in marketing, I know it's in sales too, mm -hmm. the know, like, and trust factor, right? Exactly. Somebody has to know you, they have to like you, and they have to begin to trust you. So I, I have, a, I have a, a question for you because we both have corporate backgrounds and we've, we talked about this. Um, is there anything that women entrepreneurs can sort of learn from and borrow from women, successful women in corporate? Yes. And I've been on both ends. Right. So before I started my own IT company, I was in corporate for nine and a half years. And what I, what I loved about being there and what I've learned from there, I, I, like I mentioned, the structure. Yes. I was able to get my, the training in sales and engaging with customers and management and operations so I got the structure I needed and now that I'm an entrepreneur I was able to apply everything that I've learned and put that structure into my business now flip it the other way what can a corporate uh, person learn from an entrepreneur and entrepreneurs were great explorers we're great in in pursuing what it is that we want so having that same spirit or mindset of an entrepreneur in your corporate job. So if you want to pursue an opportunity and climb up the corporate ladder is having that exploration mindset of how can I get to the next level? Who do I need to partner with in order for me to get to that next level? What are some opportunities or what are some things that I can improve on in my environment? So that's really that entrepreneurial spirit taking that into your corporate role. So I guess you would call that it as an entrepreneur versus right. an entrepreneur. Right. Right. So structure for entrepreneurs, that's the one thing that I think entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurial women can learn from corporate women, and then corporate women can learn from entrepreneurs, just having that explorative, adventurous spirit and looking for ways to improve where they're at. I love that. So let, let's come up with three tips for our viewers um, to take away when it comes to how to, can we better collaborate with other women entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And I think, I loved your your tip about um, taking it from the sales yep. world, right? right? From the sales, so remind me of that one. Sure, so there's three things. I think first and foremost, if you are an entrepreneur and this is your first time going out there and building your business, I highly recommend that you enroll yourself in some type of sales yes. training yes. program. The second thing is really having a servant mind and attitude about all of your interaction because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about you helping others with your products and service. And right. I started our conversation with, Cynthia, how can I help you? Yes. Exactly. That opens you up to connect with that person really quickly, build that trust right away. And again, you're putting the other person first and yes. we're talking about the law of give and take. Yes. Okay. Yes. And thirdly, just, you know, um, the, uh, what was the last thing we talked about? It, the, it's, it's, well, I think one of them that we always want to r sort of drive home is learning how to ask, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And practicing. Yes. Because, you know, it's just like with your elevator pitch, you got to practice. Right. And with making a good, solid ask mm -hmm. that isn't like too big, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for reminding that because we've yeah. talked about a right. lot of things. Asking and, and that goes into when you go to your sales training. Yes. And again, having a good 30 second or 60 second pitch is good to have in your sales toolbox because you, you're gonna need to use that yes. at the right time. Right, and I think, I think women are so good at listening. I mean, um, I have so many women entrepreneurial friends and I will call and go, God, could I just have eight minutes? I am so stuck or, 
or something just, I just had a setback and I, I need to rah, 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 rah. I need to <laughs> rant, right? And so, and, and so it's the same thing with practicing asking. This right. is like my, my new thing that I'm going to tell everybody. I'm going to practice asking, right? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that's a good thing for women? That is a good thing. And I'm going to show, I'm going to share with you a ninja tip. Good, ninja. Perfect. Yes, we so, need our ninja tip <laughs> for the Friday afternoon. <laughs> so as mentioned to you, you know, asking, mm -hmm. Cynthia, how can I serve, how can I help you? Tell me, who do you, who do you look for? How can I introduce you to these people? Right. Once you've shared that with me, you can say, hey, you know what? This is what I'm looking for. Yeah. So that's a ninja move. It's not necessarily me asserting my agenda onto you first. And again, this is not in any way manipulative. No, no. But it's so subtle because now that I learned about you, you are open to hearing about how you can help me. Again, this is right. the law of give and take. It's, yes. It is a ninja move, oh, but yes. you know, and now yeah. you're open to it. Exactly, yeah. exactly, I love it. Yeah, something like, wow, Kathy, tell me, um, when it comes to business, um, the right sort of businesses mm -hmm. that IT tech pros serves, mm -hmm. who's a, a good lead so I can keep my ear open? Who's exactly. a good lead for you? Exactly. And yes. then that will open me yes. up to sharing with right. you who that good lead is. And but then you're probably going to ask me, well, who's a good lead for your marketing mentorship business, right? right? Exactly. Yes. Yes. But the most important and final thing to that is that we, me as a person that says, how can I help you? I need to do something about it. Yes. Right? We need to follow it's through. Easy. You exactly. have to follow through yes. Yes. and follow through with what yes. you say you're going to do. Make that phone call, make right. that introduction. And that's really how you can build a successful relationship with each other. Exactly. I love that. I love that. Well, I, that's the end of our show for today. Thanks again, Kathy David. Thanks. Yay. And so from, much fun. Yes. This <laughs> was so much fun. And um, I want to give our special thanks to our viewers and we'll be back again soon for another Women Lead TV segment. So please join us. Wow, women! <laughs>